Hello, everyone. My name is Teresa Miller, and I'm the Director of Technology Advocacy with Cohesity. I'm also a Microsoft MVP. I'm excited to be talking to you today about becoming an M365 Recovery Rockstar with Cohesity. So before we can dive into that, let's go ahead and talk about our agenda today. So we're going to talk about some of the common misconceptions and challenges around protecting M365 data as well as SAS. So some extra things for you to think about today. Oh, and let me share that ESG research did a study to check on how likely it was to be able to recover M365 data. And they were finding that 15% of organizations were able to recover what they needed without a third party tool. And 85% really didn't get back what they need. So think about that as we dive into the misconceptions, some of the challenges. What is your recoverability rate? Have you tried? If you haven't tried, I would strongly suggest you do that. Anyways, let's keep moving forward. From there, I'm going to do a, a meaty demo for you. We're going to talk about, and I'm going to show you how Cohesity can help you recover your M365 workloads. And then I'm just going to show you a couple quick little slides on how things work with M365 data protection and Cohesity. So we're going to be together for a very short time today. We've only got 20 minutes together and I'm really excited to dive in. So first and foremost, I promised we would talk about some of those misconceptions. I think when organizations look at their data, their enterprise data that gets in the cloud, that's put in the cloud, they believe that the cloud provider is solely responsible for that data. But let me break it down for you, because as you start looking at your agreements, I think you're going to quickly see what I'm going to share next. Um, is true. So let's go ahead and talk about you as the customer and your enterprise data and what that responsibility is. So in terms of your enterprise data, you're responsible for all of the risks that could impact that data. So if there are user errors that cause data deletion, insider threats that can impact that data, you're going to have to step up and make sure that you can recover. Security issues can also impact our data. Ransomware, huge headline topic these days. Organizations are being impacted regularly and implementing additional layers of security just for ransomware alone. But let's not forget phishing and viruses. And then there's the application usage. Some applications like Exchange Online have some configuration options around, for example, how you use calendaring, or let me th talk about OneDrive. With OneDrive, you may keep copies of your data. You have to set those things. Your, your SaaS provider does not do that for you. Now let's talk about the SaaS provider. So the SaaS provider, when we think about their role and you start looking at their agreements, you're going to find that they're mostly responsible for infrastructure failures, application failures. They'll help with disasters. Sometimes you even have to have add on agreements for the disaster level. And then oftentimes the data protection piece or the backup and recovery piece is separate or they offer you something, but it's a separate tool that you manage separately from your other backup and recovery solutions. So in any case, data protection is truly shared responsibility. You have your part and the SaaS provider has theirs. So now let's talk a little bit about some of the common challenges that I've seen in working with Microsoft 365 in the enterprise. I want you to be rock star ready, be prepared for the unexpected. So these things can happen. Ransomware can encrypt uh, a user's OneDrive. And there are some options within M365. For example, you could, if you have set this, go back 30 days, and fully recover that OneDrive. But if that ransomware was sitting there for a little bit before it encrypted anything, 
let's say 31 days, you're not going to get very far. In terms of deletion, accidental or intentional happens frequently. I've dealt with so many of these situations, especially on the exchange online side and mailboxes, and people never notice that stuff missing right away. When you consider what is offered within M365, you could, from a granular perspective, if I was just talking about email in this case, you could do deleted item recovery back to 30 days. And then like OneDrive, SharePoint Teams, you get 93. But again, when this is identified is, is the key here and how quickly you can get it back and the level of scale of impact, right? There's a large amount of data it may not be discoverable or recoverable. And then the last example that I want to talk about here is a team site document impacted by malware and the ability to recover that can be a challenge. Teams is a complex tool. It's built on top of so many different Microsoft 365 and even Azure tools um, to, to create a very robust and amazing product, but it's SharePoint, it's OneDrive, there's Exchange Online Elements, there's Cosmos DB, Azure, etc. So it can be pretty complicated to get things back when these things happen, especially if the data doesn't have the right retention in place, which you all know, you can put retention policies in place on your data, but you have to do it and it's not backup and it's not recovery and there is no guaranteed SLA in your Microsoft contracts. So recovery SLAs I think are critical here. Go out and test how fast you need this data back before you decide not to use any third party to backup and recover your M365 data. So now that we've talked about some of the challenges and we're thinking differently about that Microsoft 365 data, we're going to shift into the next part of my presentation where we're going to go ahead and do some demos. I have a OneDrive restore, mailbox recovery, team site recovery, SharePoint recovery. And the way that I put this together, you get to see a little bit of our as a service offering. I'm going to do that in the One, OneDrive mailboxes and teams. And then I'm going to take you into our data protect solution that you can deploy on prem. But yes, you can back up your Microsoft 365 workloads on prem. We help you um, get around the egress charges. There are no egress charges with our tool. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can do that. If you chose to protect your workloads, your M365 workloads from our on-prem solution. So let's go ahead. Let's keep on the path of becoming recovery rock stars and take a look at a demo of Cohesity. So let's go ahead and here we have our Helios dashboard. I'm going to click on my scope selector. You can see that if I have Cohesity deployed in many ways, I have the cloud offerings. I have my on-prem clusters, single UI for it all. Um, but again, as promised, I'm going to stick with the as a service and that's choosing data protect. So in this particular demo, we're going to go ahead and um, do a OneDrive recovery. So in terms of OneDrive, you can see all my workloads here, mailboxes, OneDrive sites and teams, but now we're clicking OneDrive. So today we're going to focus on Matt Murdock and we're going to go ahead. We're looking at our activity list to confirm all of the previous backups. And then it gives me the ability to choose which one I want to recover from. So let's go ahead and do a full OneDrive recovery. I'm going to go ahead and do that to a new location. In my scenario here, we're choosing Cohesity Rocks. We're going to go to Demo Restores and give this a name, a folder name. But imagine the user that le left the organization. It's very easy to redirect that recovery so perhaps a colleague could get access to that information or a manager could review that information. So that's the scenario we're working with here. So now you can see I have initiated that recovery. 
going to go back to that activity log that I showed you and we can see that that has kicked off and is running. Now we're going to switch over to our OneDrive. We can see very quickly we have the restore initiated. It's still running, so we're just kind of keeping track of what's going on here. Give that a refresh, and it looks like in 23 seconds, again, we don't have a ton of data in this one, but very quickly you can restore that data. There's Matt Murdock's OneDrive and the files that Matt had and was working with. Now let's go ahead and head back over to our dashboard. And from here, we're going to go back into Data Protect. And this time, we are going to go over to Sources. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at doing a mailbox recovery. In this case, it's going to be a redirected recovery again, where we redirect to a different mailbox because of the manager's requirements. So today I'm going to select Danny Rand for recovery, and then I'm going to click recover mailbox. I'm going to do a recovery to a new location because I need somebody else to review what's in Danny's mailbox. So that's, so we go ahead and we choose our registered source, our target mailbox of restore demo. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the folder name that I want to look for. From here, I've reviewed my other options and then I'm going to click recover. So again, to monitor that activity, I would head over to activity. I can see that that recovery is happening. Now I'm going to head over to the demo restores mailbox where we can monitor the progress of Danny's mailbox recovery. And we're going to go ahead and give this just a quick refresh. And we should see that Danny Restore has initiated. We can go ahead and drill down into the workload or the workflow. And I can see that I have all of his items for my review. Now we're going to go ahead and do a Teams site recovery. I chose the scope selector. Again, we can see I have the options to choose any of my clusters, but I'm going to go ahead and choose data protect. This continues to be our as a service offering. I'm going to go ahead and choose cohesity.rocks, choose teams. And then in our case, we're going to select the safety team site. Now, before we can actually do our recovery, I actually want to show the event that we're trying to recover from. So in teams, I'm going to delete my safety team site, and then we are going to come back to cohesity to initiate that recovery. I'm going to go ahead and recover to the original location. And that's going to initiate that recovery to get that site back. So here in the activity log, we can see that that recovery is happening. We can see that things are starting to populate. And in just a moment, we will have our entire team data back for our use. So my channels are starting to populate. They do come in um, flagged as slightly different naming, giving you the opportunity to review the content as it comes back. And then we can simply rename that now that we know it was restored and quickly get back to using the safety team site. Now here is where we go to our on-prem cluster. I'm actually on my Cohesity demo cluster and I'm going to go ahead and go to sources. You'll notice the left hand pane is a little bit different in the on-prem and I do have a source registered where I can click into this is my M365 source similar to what I've been showing you in the BAS. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I just I clicked sites. 
So I have this communication site that my organization uses, and I'm going to go ahead and upload a file to that site. I'm making a change and that change is happening before there's another backup. So now that I have that change, I'm going to go ahead and work toward recovering. So I chose recover. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to recover to the original location. And now I have the ability to verify the recovery by clicking on re data protection and recoveries on the left. I can monitor the progress here. And so this should take a couple of minutes. And then once that process has completed, we will then see that our recovered site doesn't have that uploaded document. So let's go ahead and continue. We can see that progress is happening. And in terms of wrapping things up, it is now complete. So now let's go ahead and head back over to the communication site. And you can now see that that uploaded file is no longer there. All right. So let's go ahead and shift gears to wrapping things up. So in terms of wrapping up, Microsoft 365 data protection from Cohesity offers you the flexibility to protect your OneDrive, Exchange Online, SharePoint, and Teams. You can do that in a couple different ways. You can do that through our as a service offering through on-prem. We also have a cloud edition offering where you can deploy this, deploy Cohesity 2 to protect your M365 workloads. We also offer long-term retention. If you are leveraging the on-prem solution, you're going to get lower costs with global deduplication, flexible backup, global search, fast backups, a single UI, a, a product that will help you be successful when it's time to recover and meet those SLAs that you're trying to achieve. If you're interested in trying our as a service offering, you can get data protect delivered as a service for M365. You go to cohesity.com forward slash free trial. You can get a 30 day free trial. You get access to all our features. And in terms of getting that set up, it's really, there's a few things going on in the background, but basically you register your source you end up creating an Azure app, some RBAC changes are made, and you are on your way to protecting very, very quickly. So that wraps up my presentation. So glad you could join me today. I really hope you're enjoying Ignite, and be sure to take some time to look around our site for Ignite. We have some other great demos where you can check out other workloads that we protect, where you can check other my check out other Microsoft workloads that we protect.